When we talk about characters that stand out for their cruelty and charisma in the Game of Thrones universe, we must talk about Daemon Targaryen, the Targaryen prince who stole the hearts of many of the fans of this universe, but who exemplifies the worst of the Targaryen family. In this video, we will be explaining why Daemon must be stopped, and how he will be the villain in the second season of The House of the Dragon. And for more videos of the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. To understand why Daemon will be the villain in the second season of The House of the Dragon, we must start at the beginning. When we first saw Daemon, he was the commander of the City Guard, better known as the Gold Cloaks. Daemon was put in this position after he was not fit to be an advisor to the king. However, here he proved to be ruthless, using violence to intimidate the people. Many people complained about the gold cloaks, but Daemon claimed that this is what the city needed. A guard with a strong hand who could enforce the law. But rather than enforcing the law, it seemed that the gold cloaks became the prince's own army. Daemon was at King's Landing to escape his responsibility as husband to Rhea Royce in the Vale of Arryn, for he had never loved her. It was at this time that Daemon mocked the death of Emma Arryn and the king's son, something that leads Viserys to take away his title of heir. And from that moment we knew that Daemon was a rather chaotic character. Daemon disobeys the king and goes to Dragonstone with Miss Arya, where he claims that the woman is pregnant and that he has turned her into a lady. He also steals the dragon egg that the king was supposed to use for his child. These actions lead the king's guard to visit Daemon and confront him. Daemon was willing to form a conflict with the royal guard and negatively affect the crown. Although he was married, he did not respect his vows and made up a story about a son that never existed. If not for Rhaenyra arriving at this meeting, Daemon would have used Caraxes against Otto. Although we might think that Daemon's actions are the equivalent of a temper tantrum, and that he only wanted to annoy Viserys, we must understand that this was almost a declaration of war on his brother. Daemon then joins Corlys Valerian in the Battle of the Stepstones, a battle that lasted several years, and just when they were about to lose the war, Viserys sent him a messenger to tell him that he would send him help. Daemon's pride is so great that he does not want to accept his brother's help, and he strikes the messenger. If not for his men separating them, he could have ended the life of this innocent person, who only brought good news. Attacking a messenger without any justification is a cowardly act, which leaves Daemon in a very bad light. However, he follows Lenor's strategy and wins the battle. Or at least he buys time for the crown, for the Battle of the Stepstones continued after Daemon returned to King's Landing.
Upon his return, he is greeted as a hero, and gives his crown to his brother. At this point we thought that Damon had matured as a person, and that he would abandon his tantrums and impulsiveness. But it was not so. Damon's return was with the purpose of causing a conflict between Rhaenyra and Viserys. Rhaenyra, who was still a minor, is taken by her uncle to a brothel, exposing her to many people in King's Landing, and then abandoning her there. The White Worm sent a message to Otto, telling him everything that happened. But who is the White Worm, Lady Miss Aria? It was she who sent Otto the message that Rhaenyra had been with Daemon. While Lady Missaria was sending this message, Daemon was sleeping in his room. But there is a high possibility that it was Daemon who asked the White Worm to send this message to Otto, so that in this way, Viserys would take away Rhaenyra's title of heiress, considering that she had lost her virtue, or that he would decide to marry her to Daemon. The problem with this is that Daemon is still married, and these actions against Rhaenyra are a selfish strategy, which could have cost the princess everything. Daemon is banished from King's Landing again, and ends his wife's life. We could say that maybe Daemon was not to blame for the horse being scared, but definitely, he did not have good intentions when approaching Rhea Royce, and worst of all, he finished her off on the ground. The action of ending his wife's life is one that marks a before and after in Damon. We cannot say that he is a morally gray character when he ended the life of the woman he swore to protect until the end of his days. Damon returns again to King's Landing, and in the middle of the celebration for Rhaenyra and Lenor's wedding, he starts kissing Rhaenyra. If it wasn't for a fight, everyone would have noticed this. By doing this, Damon not only disrespects Rhaenyra, but also his brother Viserys and the crown, as he does not respect the union between the Targaryens and the Valerians. Years pass, and Damon now lives away from King's Landing with his wife Lena Valerian. His life has become monotonous, but he is relatively at peace. His wife asks him to return to Driftmark, but Damon has apparently lost his aspirations to the throne and stays put. Lena feels that Damon has imprisoned her there, and it is this same depression that leads her to stand before Vagar, for she would rather lose her life to her dragon than die in childbirth. Damon then returns to the life of his brother and niece. Upon reuniting again with Rhaenyra is when they devised the plan to make Laenor disappear. While we could say they acted benevolently towards the Prince of Driftmark, the reality is, that as usual, an innocent lost his life. The body they found at Lenor's place was that of a person Damon treacherously attacked and who lost his life through no fault of his own. Rhaenyra and Damon spared Lenor's life, but sacrificed an innocent. After Lenor disappears, Damon quickly marries Rhaenyra. According to the book, it is said that she was already pregnant, and that this upset Viserys as he understood that they married too quickly which generated rumors that Damon ended the lives of Rhea Royce and Lenor Valerion, so he could marry the princess and win the position of king later. After Damon returns with Rhaenyra for the hearing for the succession of Driftmark, we can see him more calm and focused. Even the attack on Vaymond was justified, as the king himself asked for his tongue. So we can say that Damon improved by marrying the princess, but his violent attitudes are still present. However, after the death of his brother, the daemon who held a boundary for Viserys has disappeared. Now daemon is not only motivated by ambition, but also by revenge. Although it is mentioned in the books that daemon swore to avenge Lucerys, we actually know that daemon's hatred for the Hightowers goes far beyond the death of his stepson. Daemon feels that the Hightowers stole his throne and the person he loved most, his brother Viserys. If Damon was willing to end his wife's life for the throne and walk into war single-handedly for pride alone, how much more is he willing to do for revenge? Damon will be one of the violent and cruel forces of season two, and we can't wait to see what he will do to avenge Lucerys. Maybe it will all be resolved with a little blood or cheese.
but tell me what you think about Damon. Will he be the villain of the next season? And for more videos from the Game of Thrones universe and the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on... The Three-Eyed Raven.